Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a cleaning marathon with over three hours of cleaning motivation. These are some of my best videos over the last few months put into one extremely long cleaning video so you can tackle all of your to-do lists without having to stop and search for another video. I'll be deep cleaning, organizing, and even sharing some grocery hauls and recipes throughout the video. Give this video a thumbs up and let's clean together. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a whole house clean with me, so I will be tackling some messes all over my house, doing some laundry, and just getting my house back in order before the weekend we were having some family come visit, so we wanted to just get the house back in order. So if you are in need of cleaning motivation today, please give this video a big thumbs up, and let's get some cleaning done together. There's no going back, no going back. There's no going back to your own life. Living in the past, we're over that. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high. All right, you guys, so this video took me two days to film, so it took me two full days to clean my entire house. Now, I did not have to clean two of the bathrooms because they were already cleaned earlier in the week, but the rest of the house I will be cleaning today. So I'm actually starting on day one upstairs. I am tackling the entire upstairs in one day, and then I'll tackle the entire downstairs on day two. I told you guys last week that I rotate weeks on doing our bedding. So I do the kids bedding one week and then I do ours the next week. So I actually wash our bedding every other week. This week is a kids bedding week. So that's the first thing I'm going to do so that way all of their bedding can get cleaned and dried before the end of the day. And now I'm just going to get my cleaning caddy together, put all the cleaning supplies that I'm going to need to clean upstairs today in this caddy so that way I'm not running around looking for different cleaning supplies. And while I was cleaning today, I was listening to the book The Weekend Away and now that I'm editing this video, I've actually finished the book and it was so good. I highly recommend it if you like suspense type books. It kept me guessing the entire time and the ending was very surprising for me. All right, now that I have all my supplies, I'm heading upstairs and I'm gonna start in Gracie June's room. And you can, you'll see, my kids' rooms aren't too, too bad, um, but the playroom was a disaster. Now, as I was going around in Gracie June's room, I was picking up these little stuffed animals to take them into the playroom, and I realized that she had shoved so many of these stuffed animals underneath her bed, and I think it was when her friend was over a few days before, I asked her to clean up really quick before she had to leave, and it looks like they just shoved it all under the bed. <laughs> so I started laughing and just picked these up really quick and took them into the playroom. Now before I get too far in the video, I did want to introduce myself really quickly in case you're new here. I don't think I've introduced myself in a few videos. So in case you are new and you've never watched any of my videos before or you're just wondering who I am, my name is Amy Darley and I live right outside of Savannah, Georgia. My husband is Chance. He is in orthopedic sales. I always get questions because a lot of times when he pops into my videos, he might be wearing scrubs. And so I always get questions if he's a doctor or a nurse or something like that, but he is not. He is in orthopedic sales. Um, and then I have two kids, Kaysen and Gracie June. And I have been making videos here on YouTube for a little over four years now. I do lots of cleaning, organizing, decorating, 
hauls, all kinds of things in my videos. So if you enjoy that type of content, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe. And be sure to say hey and introduce yourself down in the comments too. So that way we can get to know you because the community here is amazing. So not only do I want to say hey to you, but there are so many amazing women that just chat back and forth in the comments of these videos. They are so uplifting and supportive. So I know they're gonna want to get to know you as well. And if you're a returning subscriber, then welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Y'all let me know what's on your to-do list today or if you're not cleaning today, just let me know what you're up to. When you stepped into my life, such a magic feeling, we tore down my wall. I could go back to right before you told me I'd try to change it all But look at us now, I could have gone so far It hurts to realize we're parted Yeah, look at us now, this is who we are all right, so I told you guys I was trying to get the house back in order because I actually had family coming over this weekend and they were coming because it was Gracie June's last cheerleading competition of the season and then Kaysen also had a baseball tournament that weekend. So my mom, my aunt, cousin, and my niece all ended up coming down for the weekend, all women, so it was a house full of girls for the weekend and then Kaysen and Chance, of course. Um, but all of us girls ended up driving to Jekyll for Gracie June's competition because Kaysen had his baseball tournament at the same time. So Chance took him to that. He's actually one of the coaches too. So we had a great weekend. For Gracie June's competition, they had five teams in her age group and they were all really good teams. So I know it was a very close competition. Um, Gracie June's team ended up coming out first, which was so much fun. She had a blast. And then... Kaysen's team won two games on Saturday and they ended up losing in the sixth inning of a game on Sunday so they were knocked out of the tournament um, but they were winning by a lot and then ended up losing in the sixth inning it was crazy but overall it was such a great weekend we had so much fun with family and friends and um, just had a blast things will never be the same like strangers again 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 Strangers again, again, again. Like strangers again, again, again. I just know things will never be the same. Like strangers again. Like strangers again. I thought we'd never fall. Could have tried much harder. Started. It's time to get my head up again You said that you had to I'll try to forget you Just didn't think we'd end up this way Like strangers again
Now we're moving on to the playroom and as you can see, it is a disaster in here. I feel like anytime I share this room on camera, it's a huge mess, but Gracie June's been playing in here with friends. I've been crafting in here for birthday gifts and different things for um, competitions and stuff like that. So I got all of that to clean up and I wanted to go ahead and get this room cleaned up so I could vacuum in here because my aunt and my cousin were actually gonna be sleeping in this room. We only have one guest room and it's not even a guest room. Our office downstairs is an office with a day bed in there and it does have a trundle but we don't have a mattress on there because the mattress that we bought for that bed was too big it was too thick um, so we still don't have a mattress in there but we do have the day bed in there and then we have two blow-up mattresses so we put the two blow-up mattresses in here for my aunt and my cousin to sleep on so I wanted to make sure that this room was nice and clean for them to stay in here <laughs> So because all of these toys are Gracie June's, we don't really have a system in here. We just kind of throw all the toys into these baskets. We have the two um, bean bags. We keep a lot of the stuffed animals and blankets and things like that in the bean bags. And then the rest of the toys just get thrown in these baskets, especially if I'm cleaning up. Now, if Gracie June wants to come in here and organize her toys a specific way, she can do that. But majority of the time she just kind of goes through them and dumps them all out and finds what she's looking for so when i clean up i haven't been organizing them in a specific way now all the other extra things in the room are organized in a specific way so all of the gaming stuff Kason has a ps4 and a switch so all of that stuff is organized um, he has a specific basket for all of his controllers and things like that and then in one of the little shelves we also have all of his games organized in there. And then we also have another um, cabinet that is for all of our board games and things like that. So that kind of stuff we do organize, but all of Gracie June's toys just kind of get thrown in baskets and we know that they're hers. So sweet, it acting so rude. Won't you tell me what I'm supposed to do? Yeah. High and low, in between, acting out, make a scene. Working on our body language, working on our body language. Baby, now tell me exactly how you feel. I'm just trying to keep it real. Let me love you on the inside. Now here in the craft area, this is mostly my mess. I do have a few things that needed to go back in Gracie June's room, but majority of this stuff is my mess. And I'm just putting these pictures right here. Kaysen and Gracie June both drew some pictures of them with Cooper, which is our chocolate lab that passed away about a month and a half ago. So they were so sweet. And so I just put those up here on our little pegboard and then I'm gonna clean off the desk here. And you'll probably see I have some things stacked up in this area because these are all projects that I'm wanting to get done. A bunch of sweatshirts and jean jackets I have to do for Gracie June and a few of her friends. 
And then I also have a box full of stuff that I want to do for Mother's Day and other gifts and things like that. So that's just going to stay out because I don't have anywhere else to put it. But for the most part, this area got pretty cleaned up. Now that the bedding is all dry, I'm going to go ahead and make up the kids' beds really quick. And both of the bedding sets that we have for our kids are from Betty's Bedding. We've actually had these sets for over three years now, and they're still in great condition. I love the fact that it's just two pieces. They zip up, which makes it super easy to make your bed. My kids can actually make their beds in like less than a minute. And it always look, looks great because it just zips straight up. Now, these bedding sets are a little bit pricier than most bedding sets, but they are very high quality and just make it super easy to make your beds in the morning. So if you're interested in checking out some of the Betty's bedding sets, I will leave a link to their website down in the description box. They have all different sizes, designs, fabrics, and you can also use my 20% off coupon code if you do decide to purchase with them. So make sure you use that code just to get yourself a little discount because like I said, these are a little bit pricier, but totally worth it. Now, while we're on the topic of making the beds in the morning, I'm just curious how many of your kids make their beds every single morning? Now, I will be completely honest. If you've been around for a while, you've probably already heard me talk about this, but my kids do not make their beds in the mornings during the school week just because we have to get up and be out of the house by 7, 10 in the morning to get to school on time. So it's just one more thing in the mornings. I know I said it's super quick and easy for them to get out of the bed or to make their beds, but it is not super quick and easy for me to get them out of their beds in the morning. They are not morning people. They are wanting to sleep as long as possible, so I let them sleep until about 6.20, and then it's go time. Like, we are getting their teeth brushed, hair done, clothes on, breakfast eaten, and trying to do all that stuff by 7.10 so we can get out of the house. However, during the summer, I do make them make their beds in the mornings. It's just part of their little morning routine because they sleep in as long as they want most of the time unless they have some other appointment or activity that they're going to where I have to wake them up. But they sleep until usually about 8, 8.30 and then they will get up and make their bed and brush their teeth and do all the other little morning tasks before they can, you know, watch TV or get on a lot electronics or play with friends or anything like that. All right, so the entire upstairs is now clean and I finished it just in time to go pick up our kids from the bus stop. So that's all the cleaning I got done on day one. And then we are about to head into day two of cleaning and I'm gonna get the whole downstairs clean. Little bit of 
Okay, friends, we are moving on to day two of cleaning, and I was actually taking our mattress off. I told you guys a while back that I accidentally got a California King mattress, but my bed frame is a regular King bed frame. So my mattress hangs over like three or four inches. So I finally got a new mattress in from Birch Living. It's the Lux mattress, and it just came in the box. I rolled it out set it up on the bed. It was super easy to set up and it fits perfectly. And I shared the bed wrap that's wrapped around the bottom of my bed frame with you guys a few months ago and I wanted to give you an update. I am still loving it. I actually used it to replace the bed skirt. I just hated having to pull the bed skirt off and wash it with a king bed. It's just the mattress is so heavy. It's such a hard task to do by yourself. So I am loving this bed skirt or this bed wrap. I feel like it just makes the bed look so much nicer. All right, now let's move into the living room and the kitchen. So I've just got some things to put away in here, just some stuff that's out that doesn't belong. I've got a little bit of laundry to fold. And then I also need to clean our kitchen. You came along, couldn't look away. Somehow you turned my life completely upside down. So as I'm cleaning the kitchen, I was going to let y'all know I will be doing some spring cleaning in here very soon. I have so many spaces in the kitchen that I need to de declutter and reorganize. So I bought a few different organizing supplies. I'm still waiting on all the stuff to come in before I start on the kitchen. I want to get it all done at one time. So before I start on the kitchen, I have to get all those products in, but I can't wait to share them with you and hopefully it'll give you guys some ideas on kitchen organization and hopefully it'll work for me too <laughs> but until i get to the kitchen i do have some other spaces that i'm going to be cleaning and organizing for some spring cleaning so be on the lookout for those videos very soon So I was just thinking summer is right around the corner and summer is my absolute favorite season. Y'all have to let me know what's your favorite season down in the comments, but summer is quickly approaching. My kids actually get out of school for summer break on May 21st and I'm so excited. I love that we get to go to the pool all the time. I mean, we go to the pool almost every single day because we have a neighborhood pool. Um, and then of course all the summer activities and the beach and all of that kind of stuff. Plus, both of my kids actually have summer birthdays. Kaysen's birthday is in June, and Gracie June's is in July. And so, summer is just packed full of activities for us, and we actually have a few fun surprises for their birthdays this summer. And I'm not going to talk about it on here, just because I want to make sure it stays a surprise, not that they watch my videos or anything, but they do have a really big surprise in July, and I'm so excited about it. But y'all will have to let me know if you have kids, when do your kids get out for summer break? And if you have any fun plans for the summer or any fun activities that you and your family like to do during the summer. Still gonna be dreaming of you. The silhouette dancing on the wall. I try to close my eyes. Every time I think these scars 
So I told you guys that I ordered some organizing supplies for the kitchen, but I also ordered some new pots and pans. Um, I asked over on Instagram about the caraway pans because I kept seeing all of these ads for them on Facebook and Instagram, and I have seen a few people share them, but I was I'm always interested to ask y'all's opinion because I'm sure that it's kind of the same way. Like you see someone share something on Instagram and then they have a link for it. So then you're curious, like, do they really love this or are they just, you know, are they just saying that they love it? I don't know. It's some, sometimes Instagram and Facebook and even YouTube has gotten kind of hard to tell whether people really love products or not. So that's why I like to ask you guys for your opinions. So I asked over on Instagram about the caraway pans. If anybody had them to let me know like their opinions on them. Is it worth the money? Because they are very pricey. Um, and so most of the opinions said that they absolutely love their sets and that they were totally worth the money. I had a few people tell me no, that they weren't worth the money, but they didn't really specify why they didn't like the sets. Um, but like I said, majority of people said that they loved them. But then I also had a few people tell me that they bought the um, Sam's Club dupes. So apparently there's some Sam's Club pots and pans that look exactly like the Caraway pans. And they said that they're nonstick and they work really, really great too. But when I went to find them, they were all sold out. So... I was like, okay, I'm just gonna buy the bullet. I'm gonna buy the caraway pan set. I love the fact that it comes with like the pot and pan organizers too. So I'm gonna try them out. I'll let you guys know my honest opinion on them, whether they're worth the money or not. And hopefully that they hopefully they are because I just spent a good bit of money on them. And I have not purchased a new set of pots and pans in a really long time. I did have some pots and pans that were gifted to or actually it was just two frying pans that were gifted to me when I first started my YouTube channel and they actually work really great. Those two pans are in still really good condition. They're the made in, I think that they're called and they work awesome, but I wanted to go ahead and get a new set and this time I purchased them myself. They were not gifted to me. So I will give you guys my honest opinion on the caraway pans whenever I get them. But if you have them, let us know what you think about them down in the comments so that way people can go ahead and see other people's opinions on them as well and not just mine. Okay, so this was actually like a week after Easter and I still had all the kids Easter basket stuff sitting here on the fireplace. So I'm finally gonna go put that stuff away. Um, they absolutely loved all their Easter finds that I got them. And for Easter, I typically get my kids stuff that they're gonna use anyways during the summer. So they got bathing suits, towels, sunscreen. Um, Gracie June got a few hair accessories and things that she loves and then a couple shirts. Um, and then, you know, pool toys, things like that. So they loved all their stuff, but I'm finally getting those put away. And then I'm going to fold some towels that I have here. I actually have a few loads of laundry in this pile. So I'm going to get that folded and put away as well. Now, typically when I fold laundry, I will watch a TV show or something. Um, but I just finished Bridgerton season two. It was so good. I loved it even more than the first season. And a lot of you told me that you did too. But y'all let me know of a show that you're watching right now or a show that you highly recommend because I don't have anything to watch right now. We pretty much watch the Braves play every single night, but I need a show to watch when I'm like folding laundry or when I'm working out at home. You're my best friend Didn't care about the rules Good on the weekends I'll be in fools drifting the deep space So brave and so stupid Just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this Until we couldn't do it Each and every high, every night with you, you All 
right, so this is our guest bathroom, and you're going to see I desperately needed to clean in here before my family was coming for the weekend. There's toothpaste all in the sink, the mirrors needed to be cleaned, the toilets, everything. The trash can was completely full. So I'm going to get in here and do some cleaning um, before they come for the weekend. So it has been a while since I've cleaned the bathrooms on camera and I like to talk about what I do with the toilets. Um, I take a little bit of toilet paper and I wipe it down first just to get any dust and stuff off and then I go back over and clean it with the Clorox wipes and I don't know why my toilet seats, they stain so quick. Um, they're not horrible. If you remember, I replaced this toilet seat probably about a year ago and it's already starting to turn colors and i did hear that the wooden toilet seats do this but for the inside of my toilet i use the clorox toilet bowl wand it is the best invention ever for cleaning i'm telling you it makes cleaning the toilet so much easier it smells so good and it makes me not hate cleaning my toilet so much but now i'm taking out the trash and i'm gonna wash our little rug that's in here and this bathroom will be all nice and clean. I did end up going over it with my Swiffer wet mop and I did that later in the day and completely forgot to film that part. But now I'm gonna quickly vacuum the rugs. I just have my cordless Hoover vacuum. So I use this to quickly vacuum our rugs and a lot of times I'll use this in the kitchen in the evening just to get up quick messes. Um, but after I vacuumed these two rugs and then the rug in my bedroom, I'm going to pull out my Tenko iFloor 2, and it's actually a vacuum and mop combo, and I'm going to use that on the hardwood floors to clean those. So this is my Tenko iFloor 2. This is the one that I was saying does the vacuuming and mopping at the same time. And if you watch, you'll see I get do some close-ups on some messes on the floor. You'll see it gets up so much. It works so great. And I use this a whole lot more than I use my O-Cedar Spin Mop now. Even though I still love my O-Cedar Spin Mop, it definitely does a really good job at deep cleaning the floors and getting up on the baseboards and everything too and getting under any crack or crevice or whatever but this just makes it super easy to go around and vacuum and mop my floors at the same time it cuts out a lot of the time it takes me it's super easy on your back so if you have back issues or you know you just don't have a whole lot of time to do some cleaning i would definitely recommend this one they do have an iFloor 3 out but i decided just to get the iFloor 2 because i didn't want to spend a whole lot of money and the iFloor 2 had really good reviews so i decided to just go with that and i'm so happy i did this thing is amazing and i would highly recommend this to anyone that has a lot of hardwood floors in their house or just a lot of floors that need to be mopped period but i will have a link to all of the items that i have talked about in today's video down in my description box so that way you can easily find these things
All right, guys, so that is all the cleaning I'm gonna do for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this whole house clean with me, and hopefully it gave you tons and tons of motivation to get some things done around your house today. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up before you leave, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new and introduce yourself down in the comments so that way we can get to know you. And if you are still cleaning and you're not quite done, you need some more cleaning motivation, I will leave some really good videos here on the screen at the end of this video, but I'll also leave some really good ones linked down in the description box and I'll kind of put them by categories. So I have some organization projects and some other really good cleaning videos that a lot of people have enjoyed and I think you will too. So go check that out. I hope you have an amazing week and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Good morning friends. I am so excited for today's video. I am sharing a full day of lots of cleaning motivation, meal prepping, some easy dinners, and getting our schedule and chore charts together for summer break. I can't wait for you to see this productive day that I had and these delicious recipes. Get your to-do list ready and let's clean together. Okay friends, so we woke up to a beautiful morning, a beautiful sunny day here in Georgia, and I was ready to get some things done. My kids are officially on summer break, so we are sleeping in a little bit. I typically wake up around 7.15 to 7.30, but I love not having to set my alarm. I knew I had a lot on my to-do list for the day, so the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and start a load of laundry. Let it go. Next, I went for a quick run where I did walk and run intervals outside. I'm currently listening to Reminders of Him, and so far, it's so good. I cannot wait to finish this book. Alright, you guys, so just got done running. I think I'm going to go take a shower. I'm not going to wash my hair because we're heading to the pool later today. But I'm gonna go rinse off, get some cleaning done. We'll take a little midday break to go to the pool and then I'll have to finish whatever I don't get done before that. But it is so humid out here. Huh. <sighs> Anyways, all right, let's go shower. The first thing on my list for the day was to get our summer schedule and chore chart for the kids together. And these are the printables that I shared with you guys last year and you can actually download them for free and use them for yourselves if you'd like. I have a link to them in my description box. But I printed these off, sat down with the kids, we came up with their schedule and chores together. I also have a summer bucket list sheet that I gave to each of them to fill out as well. Next I went and laminated them so I could put them on the fridge and use a dry erase marker with them. And if you guys want to hear how we do our summer schedule and how our chore chart system works, how much we pay the kids and all that information, I will give a full explanation at the end of the video. So here's how I put their summer schedule and chore chart on the fridge. When they get ready to fill out their chore chart, they can literally just take it off and use a dry erase marker to put little dots wherever they've done their chores and then put it right back on the fridge. Now, while the kids are getting their morning schedule and chores done, I've got lots of cleaning and meal prepping to do here in the kitchen. So let's start by getting the clutter put away, unloading the dishwasher, and get these dirty dishes out of the sink. Everybody's been saying that you're up to no good. Everyone has been telling me that you got me hooked. You're playing it big time. 
You're feeding me lies. Everyone has been bugging me to sever the ties. But I would never, ever, ever would have believed them. No reason. Sometimes the truth is hard to see. But never, never, ever, ever seem to be over. So as I'm cleaning, my robot vacuum has gone off. I have it set on a schedule so it goes off the same time every single day it starts cleaning. And I have it set to where it only does the vacuuming, but if I want it to mop, then all I have to do is put the mop pads on it and it will actually vacuum and then it will go self-empty the vacuum canister and then it will actually mop the floors too. Now this vacuum is pretty pricey, but I feel like all the robot vacuums with all of these features have gotten a lot pricier than the old robot vacuums that we used to have. Um, but it's the Ecovax Omni, I think it's the Dbot X1 Omni robot. I shared it a few months ago, but I'll link it in the description box in case you're in the market for a robot vacuum and you're wanting, you know, you have a higher end budget because this one definitely is pricier. So I'm happy I got freed Lucky, lucky, lucky me uh -oh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky me I've won, got it done Lucky, lucky, lucky me uh -oh. Lucky, lucky, lucky I won't let the door hit when I leave Shouldn't know by your rap sheet That you weren't nice But now I am telling you going to smile but i would never ever ever would have believed them no reason sometimes the truth is hard to see but never never ever ever seem to be over i saw her so i'm happy i got freed lucky 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 me uh -oh. So I realized that I never introduced myself at the beginning of the video and some of you may be new here and have no clue who I am so I figured I would take a second to introduce myself and welcome you to my channel so I'm so glad that you're here I hope you love it um, my name is Amy and here on my channel you're gonna find lots of videos like this one so I do lots of cleaning organizing home decor, DIYs, recipes, um, just anything and everything that I do as a mom from day-to-day -day life that hopefully I can share with you guys to either motivate you or give you some tips and tricks to make things easier. I would love for you to subscribe and be a part of this community and if you are new then be sure to say hey down in the comments and introduce yourself so that way we can get to know you and I want to say hey to all the returning subscribers. I'm so glad that you're here and I hope you're getting tons of motivation today. All right, so with the end of the school year comes lots of papers that I'm either tossing and getting rid of because we no longer need, or I'm gonna file it away. So first I'm gonna go through their book bags, which we have right here in this little area. We don't have like a mud room or anywhere, so we just set their book bags right there on that chair. So now that it's summer break, I can take these book bags, empty them, and put them in their closets. So I'm going through and just getting rid of things that we no longer need, and then I'm gonna take the rest of the stuff upstairs and they can put them, I'll put them away in their rooms. And 
And then here in these little file organizers, each of my kids has papers from the school year. They have awards, pictures, all kinds of different things that we just file away. And I kind of go through this several times a year and then go ahead and I don't necessarily keep every single thing that was in there, but I will go through it and toss the things that we don't want to keep and file away the things that we do want to keep. I made these bins several years ago and these are what they look like on the side. They have their names and then on each of the file folders it has their grade and then I also put their school picture there on the front and then I file away anything that we decide to keep. I'm somewhere in the middle Try to find myself again But life is one big riddle Of the future and what's been Guess it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Alright, so the kitchen is mostly just picked up for right now. I'm going to actually finish cleaning in just a little bit. But before I get to cleaning, um, before I finish cleaning, I wanted to go ahead and do some meal prepping. We have sports Monday through Thursday night. So this is just going to make it easier for us during the night. I've got um, a couple of casseroles that I'm making. And these are all the ingredients that I need. Plus, I defrosted some chicken, so I've got that right here. But I'm gonna meal prep these really quick. I'm gonna show you how I make them. They're super easy, delicious meals, and it's just gonna make my weeknights so much easier. Both so of the recipes that I'm using are coming from the Macro Friendly Food app. The first recipe, which is all these ingredients here, is a chicken enchilada casserole, and then the second recipe is a pizza casserole. All right, so the first thing I need to do is get some chicken cooked in the oven. This is going to be for that chicken enchilada casserole. So I am just using some chicken breasts that I got from Costco. I defrosted them. And now I'm just going to season them with some salt, pepper, and paprika. And then I'm going to throw them in the oven on 400 degrees Fahrenheit for... Mine were actually, my chicken was actually pretty thick, so I did it for about 25 minutes. But I would just, depending on your chicken you know, maybe 23 to 25 minutes. Right, nothing can stop me in the night like I am leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I'm wrong I got it, I got it Now while that chicken is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the pizza casserole and I'm gonna get this one done first. And I have this little um, dicer right here. It comes with several different blades and you can cut them in different sizes. But I love this thing. I got it off of Amazon. It's super inexpensive. I wanna say it's like 13 bucks. I can't remember the exact price, but I will link it down in the description box. Um, but I love this thing for dicing up all kinds of produce and everything I'm not good with a knife <laughs> so using this little thing has been a lifesaver now her recipe actually called for rotini pasta but I decided to go with the protein plus penne pasta to give it even more protein plus my kids really love the penne pasta and I'm also using the wooden spoon trick here so that my water does not boil over. I know a lot of people say it never works for them. Y'all will have to let me know, does the wooden spoon trick work for you where you just stick it on top and then your water never boils over? It always works for me. Now, obviously my water's not like boiling up super high right now, but I should have done it where I could show you guys I've done it in the past. But I promise you, my water never boils over when I use a wooden spoon. So I'm going to continue making the pizza casserole and I will show you all of the ingredients here on the screen that I'm using as I'm going through and making these two dishes. But I will also leave the recipes down in the description box for you so that way if you want to make these for yourselves or for your families, you can. Now like I said, my kids have sports Monday through Thursday. So we are looking for super easy meals that I can either prep during the day or don't take a whole lot of time to cook in the evenings. And so we did these two meals this week. We ate on the chicken enchilada casserole on Tuesday and Wednesday 
because Memorial Day was on Monday. And then on Thursday, we had the pizza casserole. And you're going to see in just a little bit. But after we got done with the pizza casserole, we had so much left over. And I knew we weren't going to eat it on Friday night because we do. We go out to eat on Fridays or we'll pick up a pizza or something like that. And so what I did was I ended up just putting them in the meal prep containers and freezing them. And I had four freezer meals left over of this pizza casserole for either for me to eat for lunch or if I wanted to pull them out and thaw them out on a night that we have sports or something, then Chance and I can each have one and then we can cook something else quick for the kids or something like that. But I can't, could not believe how much this made and how much we had left over. It was so delicious. But if you guys are busy sports moms and you're constantly running your kids around to practices and games and stuff during the evenings too during the week, then I would love to hear any tips and tricks that you guys have or any of your favorite meals to cook. Um, I know a lot of times last year we were eating in our car, so it was, I was actually having to cook meals that I could just throw in Tupperware containers or bento containers, and we would eat them in the car because we were so strapped on time. But I would love to hear any of your tips and tricks or recipes that you like to cook. Remember I was laughing in all the photos that you took. But now it looks like acting like we were fiction in a book. Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the so this is actually Thursday night We cooked when we cooked our pizza casserole and then I wanted to just show you guys what it looked like cooked and then how much we had left over afterwards that I put in the freezer. All right, now our chicken is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and cube this up and we're gonna get started on the chicken enchilada casserole.
right, so here we have both of our meals here in the fridge. Now these are also great for freezing meals too. So if you wanted to go ahead and cook them in like the foil pans, then you could do that. Now this is a little bit later at night. I wanted to go ahead and just show you guys here what it looks like cooked. It was really good. We all had a good sized portion of this and we had leftovers and I just had those for lunch the next day. Now here is the after meal prep mess that I have to clean up. So I'm going to clean this up really quick and you're going to see the floors. I got cheese and everything all over the floors. It was just such a mess, but I'm going to be pulling out my vacuum mop in just a little bit, the Tenko iFloor 2 that I have. And I absolutely love this thing, especially for when I'm making big messes like this. It makes it so much easier to vacuum and mop up the floors at the same time. Now, since the mess on the stove was just in this little area, I decided instead of wiping down the entire stove, since it wasn't all messy, I would just pull out an eco cloth and I just wet it. It's kind of like a reusable paper towel. So I just wet it with hot water and I'm wiping it up. None of this is like stuck on yet since I'm cleaning right after I made the mess. So it was super easy to get up. Now I'm using that same eco cloth and I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down the counters with this first just to get all of the mess that's caked on here off. I got some salsa on here, some cheese, some of that mixture that we made, some Greek yogurt, <laughs> all kinds of stuff is all over the countertop. So I'm gonna wipe it with this e-cloth first and then I'm gonna go back over it and use a multi-surface spray and a microfiber, a microfiber cloth to clean it up. Be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely. We could be gazing at the stars, but now it feels just like I wandered off into a room and closed the door behind me. I never gave the key to you, even though I wanted to. Now that my sink is empty of dishes, we got all that stuff put away, I'm gonna go ahead and clean down my sink. I'm just using Dawn Power Wash and a Scrub Daddy, and this stuff smells amazing and works so good. I should be trying something new, but now my body's aching. I'm tired of dwelling in the dark, it's just that my heart can't take it. I didn't know what it would cost me when I let you go. I feel alone, and I'm just singing, mm, mm. Should have been you Another time, another place I just know mm, It could have been you What a crime and what a shame to let go mm, Sometimes I just don't know what to do It should have been you I could be 
tried until you place, but now the crown is shaking. Could be a face, but it feels like it will never go away until we make up. I can't be myself. I never knew how much I needed you. Mm-hmm. It should have been you. Another time, another place. I just know. Now, I was not going to wipe down my stainless steel appliances, but I noticed some marks here on the handles of both the freezer and on the refrigerator. I guess it was just from pulling food in and out, but I'm just going to wipe it down really quickly, and I'm using the Sprayway Stainless Steel Cleaner. I used this for the first time a few weeks ago, and I love this stuff. Sometimes I just don't know. So I'm that mom that lets the kids throw balls in the house and this is what happens. They end up everywhere. So we have this little basket where we keep all of our little balls right here and most nobody knows that they're there except for the kids. But look at this floor. It is covered in cheese and crumbs and all kinds of things. So this is where the Tenko Eye Floor 2 is like one of my favorite things ever because there's also like sauce and stuff that was spilt on the floor. It was just kind of dried up by this time and so instead of just sweeping up this entire mess and then vacuuming and then mopping all the floors I have the Tenko I floor too it does all the vacuuming and mopping at the same time now the Tenko does have a specific formula that comes with it that you can use on your floors but I actually still use the Pine Sol in this. It does not recommend it on their website. It says that the bubbles could, you know, get over bubbly and possibly mess up your machine. But I only use a tiny bit of Pine Sol in mine and so far so good. But I don't know what it is. I just love the smell of Pine Sol. I know that when I was little and I would come home and my mom had been cleaning all day, there would be the fresh smell of pine saw because she used it to mop. And so I don't know if that's why I love it so much, but I absolutely love the way it smells. I also love the way that the floors shine after I've used the pine saw on my floors. It's just my favorite. So that is what I use in my Tenco. But like I said, on their website, it recommends that you only use their product. So I'm looking at the Walmart website right now and the Tenco iFloor 2 model that I have is on sale for $138 and this is a steal. This is probably one of the best purchases I've ever made for cleaning. It actually has cut my vacuum and mopping time in half. I do my floors so much more because it's just so much quicker, so much easier, so much easier on my back, all the things. So if you have a whole lot of wood floors or tile and you're doing a whole lot of mopping during the week or even just once a week, then I still think this is worth it. Um, so go check it out. I will have a link to this particular vacuum down in my description box. Now, there is an iFloor 3. Um, that one's probably going to be more expensive. But like I said, I have the iFloor 2, and I absolutely love it. Now here's a look at all the stuff. Obviously I had feathers and things for my pillows that are constantly falling out and going all over the floor. But here's a look at the water after I was done. It 
is so gross. Every time I mop my floors, I'm always just so disgusted. But a lot of people have told me that their Tenko has a funny smell. So the first thing I would say is make sure that you are self-cleaning your brush roll every single time that you clean. It just hooks back up to the charger. You hold it down, hold down the power button for a few seconds, and it's going to self-clean. After that, I take the dirty water canister and all the little pieces that go with that. It has like a little sponge and filter and everything. I take that out and I spray it all down with the Dawn Power Wash and give it a quick clean. You want to do this every single time you use your vacuum. Now, typically I do this in our laundry room sink, but our laundry room was full of clothes and I didn't want to get any of those wet, so I did it outside. Now, Another thing is every couple of weeks, I don't do this every single time I run my vacuum, but every couple of weeks I will actually take the brush roll off and I will spray that down with Dawn Power Wash as well, as well as the little piece that goes on top. Now I'm just letting them all dry in the sun before I put them back together in the vacuum. Another thing I do every few weeks is clean out the bottom piece where the brush roll was and also the little piece where the dirty water tank attaches. You can see it gets lots of hair and just kind of gets clogged up. So I go through, clean that out, and then I will actually spray it down with some hydrogen peroxide. And you could also use vinegar for this, whatever cleaner you want. I just have this one in a spray bottle, so that's what I did really quick. And I let it sit for a little bit so that it disinfects, and then I will wipe it down with a microfiber cloth. So hopefully this helps. It does take a little bit of maintenance to have this machine, but it's totally worth it. It's still a lot quicker to clean all the pieces and everything than it is for me to vacuum my entire downstairs and then go back and mop the entire downstairs. Now that we have our little summer schedule printed out, our chore chart printed out, I'm going to show you guys the schedule really quickly. So I didn't put times or anything because we are super flexible in the summer and then plus sometimes we're going to have things that are going on in the mornings and we just have to kind of move things around. But this is basically what we're trying to get done in the mornings and then we do have sports Monday through Thursday for practices. But in the morning we're doing breakfast and Bible time. I'll show you the Bible devotional that we're using. Um, I've shown it before in the past. I love it because it has like a weekly Bible verse in there for you. And then it also has a story of the day. So I'm going through that with the kids. They have their summer chores that they have to complete in the morning. I'll show you that. Um, a workout and stretch time. This is just to kind of get their bodies moving. Gracie June's going to be doing some stretching for like getting more flexible for cheer. And then like that's been one of her goals so I told her we're gonna do some stretch YouTube videos she can do this on her own and then case and stuff is gonna be different each day some days he's gonna run some laps around the cul-de-sac some days he's gonna get out and hit a bucket of balls it'll just be kind of whatever chance wants him to do that day but it's also gonna be stuff that he can do on his own just to you know get his body moving in the morning and then their daily reading they both have reading that they have to do for summer reading and journal so Gracie June's gonna keep like a journal, but for Kaysen's summer reading, he has an article and he has to do notes and things like that with that. So he knows what he has to do for that. Um, so like I said, he's got an article to read. Gracie June has a couple of chapter books that she's gonna be working her way through. And then like I said, in the evening, we have baseball Tuesdays and Thursdays and then cheer on Mondays and Wednesdays. And then we'll either do Tuesday or Thursday for tumbling when we can do it. So. That is our little summer schedule. Let me show you their chore chart really quick. We actually sat down together and made these chores out. Um, they all, all of them are the same. This is Kaysen's, this is Gracie June's. This is just kind of how we keep track of how much money they get, which I'll explain in a second. Um, but basically their chores are to make their bed, clean their bedroom, clean the playroom, unload or load the dishwasher, whatever I need them to do. So this could be in the morning, this could also be in the evening wipe down the bathroom counters and the sink. So Kaysen has the upstairs bathroom and then Gracie June has the downstairs bathroom. I thought this would be kind of nice to take a little bit off of my plate and not make it, and, and make it to where the bathrooms aren't getting as dirty as quick. 
Um, laundry, so this is basically on Mondays. They will bring down their laundry hampers while I wash their clothes. I'm actually gonna show them, start trying to get them to wash their own clothes, especially Kaysen. Um, just kind of show him how to do it in case I want him to start it. And then we will fold clothes together. They will put their own clothes away. And then once they are good at folding their clothes, which we've been working on for a couple of years, um, they don't, they don't do it as perfect, you know, as, as well as I want them to do it. But the fact that they are still learning and, you know, they're able to do most of it by themselves is great. Um, and then wipe down the kitchen. And this is like the kitchen counters and the table. Um, this will mostly be after dinner. So that is their chore chart. All right, and then to explain how we do money for this. So each chore that they do, they get a dot for. So they'll come and they'll use just um, a dry erase marker. They'll put a dot by the day that they've done that chore. And then each dot is worth 50 cents. So we'll add it all up at the end of the week. That's how much money they will get. And then I have bonus checks and fines on here. So bonus checks are when I ask them to go do something that is not on this list that is considered a chore then I can give them a little tally mark and that's another 50 cents. For fines, this is when they, this is more behavioral or when they're mean to each other, I could give them a fine if they call somebody a mean name or something like that or whatever I want it to be if they're, you know, not doing something that they're supposed, that they are supposed to be doing or whatever, then I can give them a fine and they lose 50 cents. So we total it all up at the end of the week and then this is where, you know, we put in what pe what their paycheck is. And then I will either, like, we kind of keep tally of it. If I don't have cash, I'll go get cash out and try to do it that way. And then they also have their spend, tithe, and save jars. So we kind of divvy all of that up at the end of the week as well. All right, and then these are their Bible cases. They both have the Adventure Bible, which is super good for kids. Um, and then this is the children's daily devotional Bible that we're going to be using throughout the summer. So um, it actually used to be my cousin's when she was little, and they gave it to us when I had kids. Um, but basically, so this is the day that we did today, and it tells you, so you have a whole five days of stories. So um, it gives you the little story for the day. You have a prayer to pray together. And then you start learning the Bible verse. It gives you little pieces each day. But instead of doing it in pieces each day, what I did was we turned to the end of the week. And both of the kids went ahead and wrote out this entire Bible verse on sticky notes. And then they stuck it in the front of their Bibles here in these cases. And that way, each day, they can look at their sticky notes, but obviously we'll sit here and we'll say it together in the mornings too, but they can look at their sticky note anytime they want to go over their Bible verse for the week. As we go through this story, I'm kind of asking them questions and trying to make sure that they understand what's going on because sometimes when we're reading, they don't quite understand, you know, especially in the Old Testament. So um, we do go over this together and I do sit down with them and do this together with them. All right guys, so that's all the cleaning and my entire to-do list for this day. I got it all done, which doesn't normally happen, but I hope you enjoyed today's video. Got lots of cleaning motivation. Make sure to subscribe before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in next week's video. Bye. Hey guys, today's video is a whole house clean with me and I'll be sharing my weekly cleaning routine for the summer. I'm going to be breaking down all of my cleaning tasks by days of the week and show you how I tackle all of my cleaning in about three days. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, get your to-do list ready, and let's get to cleaning. First off, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, I'm so glad that you're here. I'm Amy Darley, a stay-at-home mom of two from the Savannah, Georgia area, 
and I post new videos weekly. Be sure to subscribe if you're new and introduce yourself down in the comments so that way we can get to know you. So with the kids being home during the summer, I have switched up my cleaning routine. I'm doing the bulk of my cleaning in about three days. Now just remember, I'm not perfect, so all of these tasks don't necessarily get done every single week on the day that I have them planned out for, but this is a routine that I have planned for myself to kind of keep myself on task. And here I just wanted to show a quick little clip of my kids making their own beds. They do have their chore charts. I talked all about their summer chore charts in last week's video. And also I talked about our summer schedule, kind of what our mornings look like and what we try to get done each day. So if you want to go check out that video, I will leave it linked down in my description box. Um, but it's just the last video that I posted before this one. So Gracie June's in here making up her bed and then Kaysen's making up his bed. Um, this is just one of the things that we start with in the mornings is their chores. So they're doing this while I'm getting some of my cleaning done as well. Another thing that I try to do on Monday mornings is get any clutter put away from the weekend. So here I'm unpacking our suitcase and just getting all of that stuff put where it belongs. Another thing that I try to get done on Mondays is plan our meals for the week and order our groceries for the week from Walmart Pickup so I can go pick them up on Tuesday mornings. Okay, it is now Tuesday. I'm starting by making my bed and I figured I would show you guys that since you didn't get to see me fully make the bed the night before. And then I'm going to get started on some laundry. Now, I typically do some sort of laundry almost every single day of the week, but Mondays are dedicated to bedding and then Tuesdays are dedicated to our clothes. 
The kids also have hampers in their bedrooms, so on Tuesdays they bring down their hampers, whether they're full or not, and I will include that for the laundry for the day. The next thing that I plan to do on Tuesdays are all three bathrooms. We have the master bathroom. This is our guest bathroom right here that's downstairs is where all of our guests use the bathroom. And then we also have the kids' bathroom upstairs. Now, bathrooms are my least favorite thing to clean, so I try to tackle this early in the week so I don't keep putting it off. Y'all will have to let me know what are your least favorite cleaning tasks. Maybe this will help putting it earlier in the week and getting it done versus putting it off to the end of the week. But honestly, I don't mind cleaning the toilets, but I hate cleaning the showers and the tubs. However, I'm about to use this little Homet scrubber shower tool that I got a while back. I've been using it for, you know, I don't know, maybe six months now. Um, but this thing is awesome for bathtubs and showers. It makes it easier to scrub the bottom and the corners without hurting my back which, you know, you, you guys, we're getting old when we get excited about cleaning products and tools, especially when we talk about our backs hurting. <laughs> um, but by the way, any of the cleaning products and tools that I show or mention in today's video will be linked in my description box, so that way you can easily find them if you're looking for any of those products. All right, so recently I started using the Sprayway glass cleaner on all my windows and mirrors, and this stuff is amazing. You can see here, like, first of all, it's satisfying to watch, watch it get wiped off, but I love how streak-free the mirror ends up being, and I also love the way this stuff smells. I also have been using the Sprayway all-purpose cleaner recently, it is a little bit stronger of a smell, but it cleans and disinfects and works really, really great. I love that it's also a foam cleaner so you can see exactly where you're wiping everything off and see how clean everything gets. For the outside of my toilets, I'm using a piece of toilet paper just to wipe it down and dust, get any of the dust off first. And then I wipe it down with a Clorox wipe. And then for the inside of the toilet bowl, I'm using the Clorox toilet bowl wand.
Okay, these Soft Scrub Duo Cubes are actually a new product, and I used one. You can see I already used one in my master bathroom. I put it in there like a week ago, and I love the way it smells. Basically, you just stick one of the cubes in the back of your toilet tank, and then you let it sit for about 10 minutes, and then you flush your toilet after it's been sitting in there for about 10 minutes. You flush, and then it does turn your water blue, which I think is kind of cool, <laughs> but Basically, it's cleaning your toilets and um, it's sanitizing and deodorizing. Was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy about everything that was on our mind talking to you gave me butterflies then you took my hand said let's leave now don't wanna be shy
So I asked over on Instagram, but I wanted to ask you guys here too for suggestions. Um, I am planning out the rest of the summer, trying to plan out my videos, but I want to make sure that I am making videos and including things in those videos that you guys really want to see. Okay, we've got all the dishes put away, dishes washed that needed to be washed, put in the dishwasher, and then we headed out, got our groceries, got back home, and it's time to okay, unload these go groceries. The grocery haul in case you want to see what I got, um, we've got some nacho cheddar popcorn seasoning. The kids love this stuff. Some chocolate chip muffins, some frozen pancakes. These are the Great Value brand. We usually get a different brand. I can't remember what it is, but they were out, so we're gonna try these. Some eggs, Reese's Take Five, pretty much in every single grocery haul, as well as Cosmic Brownies. My kids love these. Um, and then we've got some provolone. I love to eat provolone and turkey sandwiches, so I got some more of that. Some shredded cheddar, and I actually got this for a few different things. So the first thing that I'm doing with this is a jalapeno popper dip. So you use shredded cheddar, you use a block of cream cheese, some diced jalapeno pop or peppers, some ranch seasoning, and then I already have bacon in the fridge, so I will cook the bacon, crumble it up. I will mix these ingredients together with the bacon and then put some sliced jalapenos, which are in our fridge already too, put the sliced jalapenos on top and that's your little dip. And you can use, um, we have some Tostito scoops for this, but we also got some of these Ritz crackers that you can also use for that little jalapeno popper dip. Um, but I also got these because Gracie June just likes to eat these as a snack. So that's the first thing I got this shredded cheddar for. Also, we're doing baked spaghetti this week. This is a staple meal in our house. It's one of the easiest dinners to make. I just get some ground beef, some protein plus thin spaghetti. My kids prefer the thin spaghetti than regular. So I got that and then some Prego. Um, you can use whatever pasta sauce you want, but basically I cook my meat, cook my pasta, um, Throw these together with Prego sauce, heat it up, then put it in a 13 by 9 dish and throw some shredded cheddar on top and bake it for about 20 minutes. And you got some yummy baked spaghetti. And then I always share these. These Coles mozzarella cheese filled breadsticks are what we eat with pretty much every single Italian dish that we make. I also got some more boiled peanuts. We love these. Um, some Pringles, the sour cream and onion kind, some pretzels. I already showed you the crackers. We've got some barbecue sauce, and then I'm also making a French onion chicken in the crock pot. So I've already got the chicken and the other ingredients for it, so we'll make this in the crock pot this week. And then I got some coffee. I need to go to Costco and get the huge thing of coffee pods, but since I was picking up an order and we're almost out, I went ahead and got some more of this. We love this. We used to get it all the time before we had a Costco membership. So got those, some bread, and then some ibuprofen, some children's ibuprofen. So that's all I got. I'm gonna go put this up really quick. All right, so here is our meal plan for the week. And I actually start with Tuesday all the way through Monday because I pick up groceries on Tuesday. So I try to make sure I have whatever we need all the way through Monday. So 
Tuesday, we're going to have baked spaghetti. Wednesday is leftovers. Thursday, I'm doing crock pot French onion chicken over rice. Um, Friday is Mexican. And then Saturday, we're going to go out to eat. Sunday, we have grilled backstrap and veggies. This is all stuff that we already had, so we're going to make that. And then I put down freezer funds for Monday because we actually have a whole bunch of stuff in the freezer that we could cook. We have frozen vegetables. We have... Um, pot stickers, we have chicken bake stuff, we have leftover meals that are frozen that we can just pull out on Monday. So we're gonna just see what we're feeling on Monday and we're gonna pull something out the freezer and that's what we're gonna cook. So that is our meal plan for the week. I got all of our food put away and now I'm just gonna finish cleaning up the kitchen. We did cook here in the kitchen this morning, but honestly, the stovetop didn't get too messy. So I'm just using an e-cloth and I just wet it with hot water and I'm just going to wipe it down really quick. Now, if it's super messy, which typically happens after I cook dinner, then I will spray it down with a degreaser and use a wet sponge and clean it that way. Now for the stainless steel, I'm using the Sprayway stainless steel cleaner. I just started using this stuff recently. I love it. I love the fact that you can like see where you spray it on and you kind of have to buff it out, but it leaves the um, stainless steel looking super shiny and clean and I feel like it keeps it clean a little bit longer. Stepped into my life, such a magic. And our cats are actually outdoor cats. They do come in to snuggle and obviously nap a little bit. We love having them inside when we do, but they are a majority outside cats. And so I've gotten a lot of questions about litter boxes and stuff since I've had the cats, but we started out with a litter box in our garage and we have a door, like a cat door from one of our doors in the garage to go outside so they can go in and out of the garage easily. Um, but we started out with a litter box in our garage and we slowly got rid of it because they were using the bathroom in the yard. So we have no litter box. They go to the bathroom outside. I know a lot of people don't like the fact that we have outdoor cats, but that is how it is for us. And we love it. We keep them up to date on all their shots, flea and tick medicine and all of that. But those are our kittens. All right, so this is our spaghetti that I talked about. We cooked for dinner. I kept a little section without cheese because Kaysen doesn't like the cheese. So that was our dinner. I just wanted to show you really quick. And now we're moving on to Thursday. So really this day of cleaning, I will do any day, Wednesday through Friday. It just depends on what we have going on for the week. So on this week, we had a busy day on Wednesday. So I got all of this cleaning done on Thursday. So for cleaning, I will be doing all the dusting in the three bedrooms and the playroom, and then I'm going to do the floors. Here in my bedroom, you're going to see I'm using a duster, and then I use a multi-surface spray to wipe down the furniture. When I get up to the kids' room, though, I was running out of time, so I didn't use any spray. I only dusted with the duster. I'm also going to use the Sprayway glass cleaner on the mirrors. This stuff is amazing. You saw me use it earlier in the bathrooms, but this is by far one of my favorite cleaning products for mirrors and um, windows now.
feeling when you tore down my walls I wish I could go back to right before you told me I'd try to change it all But look at us now, I could have gone so far It hurts to realize we're parted Yeah, look at us now, this is who we are And I just know things will never be the same We're like strangers again, again, again Strangers again, again, again We're like strangers again, again, again I just know things will never be the same We're like strangers again I've tried much harder, now all we have are scars You said we'd get so high, higher up than heaven You said we'd reach the Stars. But look at us now, we could have gone so far It hurts to be Strangers again, again, again. I just know things will never be the same. Like strangers again. Better 
time to get my head up again You said that you had to I'll try to forget you Just didn't think we'd end up this way Like strangers Hey y'all, welcome to a new video. I hope you're ready for lots of cleaning motivation today. I'll be doing some everyday cleaning around the house, some laundry, and then I'll be deep cleaning my kitchen. I'm actually trying a new way to clean my cabinets today that worked out really great, so be sure to stick around so I can tell you all about it. Go ahead and get your to-do list ready while you watch or clean along with me. Give this video a thumbs up and let's get to cleaning. Like a body of water. Good morning guys. I hope your day is starting out great or that you've had a wonderful day by the time you're getting to watch this. I have lots and lots of cleaning to get done for this video so it took me several days to get everything done. We've got some everyday cleaning, some deep cleaning in the kitchen, and then lots and lots of laundry as always. So we are starting in Gracie June's room and getting her bedding in the washing machine. Normally I do both of the kids bedding the same day of the week, but I actually got Kaysen's done the day before and never got around to Gracie June's. So I'm doing hers today. And by the way, Kaysen and Gracie June are my kids. Kaysen is 11. I can't believe I'm saying that. He turned 11 on June 15th and then Gracie June is eight. She will be nine on July 22nd. So with the kids' birthdays being during the summer, you can imagine our summers are so busy. We've got birthday gatherings on top of all the summer camps. We do a couple of mini vacations and then, of course, all the other fun that comes along with summer. And we are so excited because one of our little mini vacations is actually coming up this weekend. We are going to see Dude Perfect on tour. And while we're there, it's in Atlanta, while we're there, we're going to go to a Braves game, which if you didn't know, we are huge Brave ca Braves fans. Actually, all three of our cats are named after Braves players, except Freddie was one of them and he left the Braves, but I digress. <laughs> um, but anyways, by the time that this video goes up, we have, we will have already gone on our trip and I do plan on posting lots of pictures and videos over on Instagram and TikTok from our trip in case you guys want to see all the fun that we got to have. And I do have links to my TikTok and Instagram accounts down in my description box in case you want to go check those out. Okay, so, so far I've already gotten Gracie June's bedding in the wash machine. I made up and kind of tidied up my room a little bit. Now I'm back upstairs in her room and I figured I would tidy up in here. Gracie June was actually at cheer camp on this day, so I figured I would go ahead and while I was doing the bedding and everything in here, I would tidy up her room. Now I'm in Kaysen's room and I've got some of the kids' laundry to put away. And in a little bit, you're actually gonna see the laundry room and how big of a mess it is and how far behind I am on laundry. I actually do end up tackling a little bit of the laundry in this video, but all of the laundry room cleaning will be in next week's video. Um, I got it all done, but there was just so much cleaning that the video would have been, this video would have been like an hour and a half long. So I decided to just put the laundry room cleaning in next week's video. Okay, this is a little bit later in the day. Gracie June's bedding is done and I absolutely love my kids' bedding and anytime that I show their bedrooms, I always get questions about their bedding. 
So I love to talk about it because I highly, highly recommend it. Um, they're so quick and easy to put on their beds and it takes the kids no time at all to make their beds in the morning. And when they do make them, they look like I made them because they do such a good job. It's just that easy for them to make their beds because they just zip up. But they're actually from Betty's. They're a little bit pricey, but like I said, I highly recommend them. I feel like they're totally worth the investment. My kids have had theirs for several years and they have held up so good. I actually have a 20% off discount code though. So if you do want to check these out, just um, check out the link in my description box and the coupon code will be there too. Because like I said, these are a little bit pricier, but at least if you are going to buy them, you can get 20% off with my code. I don't really need new friends, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone who can play though, wanna hang with me I'm not really looking for a friend so spend your time with me Looking for someone not afraid of, give it all to me Get next to me, get next to me All that I want is to get next to you Alright, we are moving on to the next day of cleaning And I'm gonna do some regular everyday kitchen cleaning I feel like I'm always cleaning in my kitchen This is probably the room that I clean the most clean it several times a day. Y'all have to let me know if you feel like you're always cleaning your kitchen too. And then here I'm just showing you what my laundry room looks like really quick. Like I said, I'm going to get some laundry done in here, but I planned on sharing the laundry clean laundry room clean cleaning. <laughs> Can't talk today. I had planned on sharing the laundry room cleaning in this video, but it's going to be in next week's video just because it ended up being so long. But I'm going to start with some laundry for the day. And then I'm going to move on to cleaning in the kitchen. And I'm not only doing some everyday cleaning in there, but I'm going to be deep cleaning in my kitchen today as well because it has been a while since I have deep cleaned all over in my kitchen. So here we are starting with a load of like kitchen towels. So I like to use the laundry sanitizer and I just realized this recently, but you're supposed to put the laundry sanitizer in the fabric softener dispenser because it's supposed to only be released during the rinse cycle. So I have done that wrong in the past, but now I'm doing it right. All right, and now I'm going to put away these Rice Krispie Treats. I actually just recently got a Sam's membership. I used to have a Sam's membership a long time ago, but um, when we moved into our new house, we were about 30 minutes from the Sam's Club, so I wasn't going there very often. But now I'm going to that area a lot because Gracie June's gym is around there. So I got a Costco membership when the new Costco opened up. We just got a Costco here several months ago, and I told you all about that. But then last week they were running a deal where they had $8 Sam's memberships, and I'd gone through Sam's, and several people were sending me some of the brands that I like to shop for at Sam's and some of the deals that they had going on. So I was like, you know what? $8, I'm going to run to Sam's, get a membership, and I have been loving it. So I have both Costco and Sam's, but I'm trying to decide which one I like better. Um, if you guys have shopped at both, y'all will have to let me know which do you prefer, Sam's or Costco. But anyways, those um, Rice Krispie treats I got from Sam's and I felt like they were a really good deal. But as soon as we get back from our little mini vacation, I am going to actually go to Sam's and do a huge haul and I'll have to share it in one of my upcoming videos, but I plan on getting lots of grocery items, but also all the household necessities as well. So I'll be sharing that in an upcoming video too and let you guys know what all we get from Sam's. And if you guys have any favorites that you like to shop for at Sam's, y'all let me know too because I would love to try out some new stuff. All right, so like I said, I'm doing a little bit of regular everyday cleaning here in the kitchen but in just a minute after I get all these dishes and everything put away I'm going to start doing some of the deep cleaning give it all to me get next to me get next to me all that I want to get next to you get next to you not asking for much but it feels like the two of us are gold and they're gold you see what do you good so take a chance take a chance on me it's magical
it's time to move on to deep cleaning the kitchen. I'm also going to be deep cleaning the breakfast area. And whenever I'm doing my deep cleaning, I start from top to bottom. So first I'm going to dust on the top of the cabinets and dust the light fixtures and everything. And I love this little duster that I have right here. It extends out really far. It actually extends further than what you see right here. And I got it in a two pack off of Amazon. Um, but I love this because it does extend pretty far and it's the only way that I can actually reach my fan in the living room. I'll go up to the balcony and have to dust from over there, but it, it extends all the way out so I can actually dust the light in the fan in the living room. Um, but here I'm just putting away these clean dishes because I realized I needed to put them away before dusting up here so none of the dust fell all over my freshly clean dishes. But I'm going top to bottom. I'm deep cleaning in here and the breakfast area. I'll be also cleaning the windows and the cabinets. I found a new way to clean the cabinets that I tried for the first time and it made it so much easier. So make sure to stick around so I can show you that. I'm feeling tired. Stick. Now, as I'm doing some deep cleaning, I look over and see two of our three cats just napping away on the couch, and they were so cute. I had to show you. They look so comfy, and it made me want to take a nap as well. Okay, so like I said earlier, I'm trying out something new for cleaning my kitchen cabinets. This ended up being way easier than what I normally do. Typically, I will take a multi-surface spray or some type of cleaner to clean the cabinets. I will spray it on a microfiber cloth and then wipe it all down by hand. But today, I'm actually taking a tablespoon of Tide powder and hot water and I'm using my O-Cedar Spin Mop and I'm getting it, I'm spinning it really, really good. So it's damp. It's not like soaking wet. And then I am just going to use this to clean all of our cabinets as well as the baseboards. And I'm even going to mop the floor with this same solution. Now I won't do the floors until I'm completely done with all of the cabinets and everything else. So I'm going to do all the top cabinets, then the bottom cabinets, baseboards, then the floors. And this worked out so much better. I feel like it was a lot quicker. I didn't have to go climb up on top of my countertops and it was a lot easier on the arms and everything. I felt like it was just such a great way to clean the cabinets and also the smell was amazing. I don't know about you guys, but I love the smell of the powdered Tide. So this is definitely my new favorite way to clean the kitchen cabinets and I will be doing it this way from now on. And I do have this mop as well as any other products mentioned in today's video linked in my description box if you wanna go check that out. Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it. Maybe something's missing inside of you. Just a bit of sugar to that heart. sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different I 
So I have always used the O Cedar Spin Mop to clean my baseboards. It's just the easiest way to clean them a couple of times a month. And then every now and then throughout the year, I will actually go around and look for little spots that need to be used, like you need to be touched up with a magic eraser where there's little, you know, marks or whatever on our baseboards. But there are definitely some areas like when you walk in from our garage or even in our laundry room, there are a few places that need to be touched up with paint. So I'm going to have to get chance on that. But for the most part, all the baseboards around the house look pretty good. And I think that's because I try to keep them up with mopping them every couple of weeks. And then, like I said, going around every now and then with a magic eraser. So here you can see where the floors are starting to look pretty rough, where we keep our trash can and also by the back door that goes out to our garage. That's where our dog Cooper, who actually passed away back in February, he used to lay there all the time whenever we would leave the house and it definitely took a toll on our floors. We also have a lot of nicks in the floor all around the house. So we've been thinking about possibly redoing our floors and getting lighter flooring put in. The only thing is we have dark light fixtures and then the butcher block countertop in the kitchen is pretty dark wood as well as the hood vent. So I'm wondering if it will look good or not with lighter flooring. Y'all have to let me know what you think. Um, I'm just nervous that if we do the lighter flooring that we will end up having to change up a lot of other things in the house. But I'd love to hear your opinions or if you've seen pictures where they've had lighter flooring and darker fixtures or other mixtures of wood definitely send them to me over on instagram so i can check them out or even on pinterest or whatever um because i definitely need some ideas and all of your adventures you're all alone hold up hold up baby i can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different. Okay, I told you it's been a while since I've cleaned in here and I wasn't lying. Look at all these little bugs that are right here in our windowsill. So I'm going to vacuum this up first and then I'm going to actually clean our blinds and right here on our windows. Now I do need to do the ones in the living room and the dining room soon. I know they probably look just as bad. So that will probably be in an upcoming video real soon as well. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out 
Now, I did want to mention that I'm going around and dusting our plantation shutters with a little duster first, and then I'm going to go back and use a multi-surface spray and a microfiber cloth to kind of wipe them down. There were some areas that had, I don't know, food or just little spots on them that needed to be cleaned up. So that's what I'm doing here. So I know I like to talk about so many random things in my videos, but I always like sharing with you guys any good books that I've been listening to. I listen to a lot of books on Audible while I'm working out or driving or cleaning. I just love listening to books on Audible and my favorite genre to listen to are thrillers. And actually in last in my last video, I was telling you guys that I was listening to the book Stalker and I wanted to let y'all know my little review of it because I did finish it this past week and it was so good. So if you're into like suspense or thriller type books, books, I highly recommend this one. Um, it did take me a little bit to get into it, so I had to listen for a while before I got into it, but luckily I kept on listening and because a lot of times on Audible, I will like, if I'm listening to a book and I just absolutely do not like it, then I will return it and you get your credit back. So I was thinking about doing that with this one for a minute, but I kept listening and made it through and then I was hooked. I could not stop listening to it. And I absolutely love the ending of that book. So it's called The Stalker. I will link it down in the description box, but y'all will have to check it out. I'm listening to a new book now, and it's called One Year Gone by Avery Bishop. I actually started this book like two days ago, and I am almost finished with it. It is that good. So that's another good book. I'm not sure what the ending is going to be like, but it, that's a diff, that's a whole different story because it hooked me from the very beginning of this book and I'm dying to know how it turns out. Um, I'll have to give you a full review on this book next week or in the next video because I know I'll be finished with it. But also check over on Instagram. I save all of my favorite books into my books highlights on Instagram. So, and I leave reviews and all of that. Most of them are thrillers slash suspense novels. Um, but anyways, yeah, I just thought I would update you guys on what I've been listening to. Jumping from cliffs so high. Okay, all the windows and cabinets and everything are done. So now I'm going to clean out the microwave really quick. I'm using the Dawn Power Wash. This stuff works amazing and it smells amazing as well. Um, and then I'm going to actually clean all of the stainless steel appliances and do all the rest of the regular everyday kitchen cleaning that you guys see me do all the time. Um, I wanted to pull out my appliances and clean back behind them, but when we started to pull them out, they were scratching up the floors. So we decided to not do that. I decided that nobody goes back there anyways and eventually one day we will pull it out and have to clean back there. That's what I did with my refrigerator. We had never cleaned back behind my refrigerator until we had to get a new one. And so when we pulled it out, we cleaned back there. It cleaned up really well. And then we haven't pulled it out since. So I don't know. I just decided I'd rather it be dirty back there and nobody's ever going to see it than scratch up my floors even worse. To fly. Sometimes we're crashing down, but we get up and start from the ground. Keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head. 
So I have been loving the Sprayway products. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but in the last several videos, I've been using these products and this stainless steel one, um, you saw me spray it directly onto the microwave here, but I also noticed that with the stainless steel cleaner, it does kind of spray out a little bit. So sometimes it gets on the cabinets or whatever. So a lot of times like this, I will actually spray it directly onto the cloth and then wipe down the stainless steel appliances. Now here's another thing that I haven't done in a while and that's clean the hood vent covers. And so I'm going to clean these really quick. I'm just letting them soak in Dawn Power Wash for a little bit and then I'm going to come back and scrub them. But I was also going to say about the Sprayway cleaners, I know that they are not non-toxic. So if you would prefer non-toxic cleaners for your stainless steel, I love the Jaws Kitchen Cleaner. It works so good and honestly all the Jaws cleaners work really, really great. So if you are looking for some non-toxic cleaners that do a great job cleaning, I highly recommend those. And I also have a discount code that you can use anytime that you order from them. So I always have that linked in my description box for the non-toxic cleaners. But if you don't pr have a preference, I definitely love the Sprayway cleaners. I love the glass cleaner, the um, multi-purpose cleaner that they have, and the stainless steel cleaner. High. Even if the sky is falling down. Okay, now I'm scrubbing these hood vent covers and I was actually surprised that these weren't dirtier because I rarely ever clean these and probably, I thought I should probably clean these a lot more often, but maybe I just don't cook on the stove enough. We do a whole lot of baking and air frying, so maybe that's why, I don't know. Y'all have to let me know. Go check out your hood vent covers and let me know how dirty they are. So good. So Now I know that we are almost done cleaning because I'm getting to wipe down the backsplash. I'm just using a multi-purpose cleaner here um, and I'm going to wipe down the countertops as well. And then I still need to clean out our sink and then I will wipe down our wood countertop too. So now it's time to clean out the sink and I'm just using the Dawn Power Wash to clean it out. But I also have this little caddy here that needed to be cleaned. I try to clean this at least once a week because it gets pretty gross. So I'm going to clean this out first. Then I'm going to clean out the sink with the Dawn Power Wash. And then I also pulled out the pink stuff because I use this all the time in my white sink and also in the shower or anywhere else that... I need to get up little spots like hard water stains because this stuff works so good. I hardly have to put any elbow grease into it. I hardly have to do any scrubbing at all and it gets all the watermarks straight out of the sink. I don't mind if you need to figure some things out by yourself.
Okay, so here is where I start using the pink stuff and actually I started cleaning and then I realized that I forgot to pull out my splash guard for the garbage disposal. I wanted to clean that today too and as I'm cleaning I was like, oh no, I forgot to pull it out and clean it and I didn't want to finish, you know, with the cleaning in the sink until I got done doing this. But look how gross it was. So I pulled it out. I'm going to use the Dawn Power Wash to quickly clean it off. Um, I know that some people's garbage disposal, uh, what are they called? These little splash guards, don't pull out of your sinks. So if yours do not, you can always use like baking soda and vinegar or the brand Afresh also makes these garbage disposal little tablets that you just throw in there and they dissolve and they help clean the inside of your drain and your garbage disposal too and they smell really, really good. So those are just a few other options, especially if your little guard thing does not pull out. Okay, we are in the home stretch. This is the last thing that I'm going to wipe down before I move on to vacuuming and mopping the floors. And I did only ma uh, mop down the floors in this area because I already cleaned the floors once this week. And basically, I'm just cleaning the floors again because I know that I've probably wiped crumbs onto the floor as well as dust and all of that stuff. So I am just cleaning in this area today. But if you're still here watching this video, I love to do this every now and then. Um, will you leave me a sunshine emoji or the word sunshine down in the comments just to let me know that you're still here and watching. I would love to see who all made it to the end of the video. And just thank you guys so much for being here with me today. I know all of you have crazy busy schedules. We're all super busy and we don't have a whole lot of time in our days to just watch YouTube videos. So for you guys to still be here and hanging out with me all the way through to the end of the video, it means the world. And I just want to say thank you. Baby, no, I don't want to go. Like I said, I am finishing up with just a quick vacuum and then I'm going to move on to mopping the floors and then I'll be done with deep cleaning the kitchen. Now, be sure to come back next week because, like I said, I will be deep cleaning in the laundry room, finally getting all that mess cleaned up. I've caught up on laundry, 
And hopefully, if you guys have lots of laundry to clean, that'll give you some motivation to get that stuff done too. <laughs> and if you did not see last week's video, make sure to go check that one out. It has tons of cleaning in it as well. I did lots of cleaning inside, but then we also cleaned in the garage. Chance helped me out with that video. He helped me get lots of cleaning done out there. I restocked the outdoor fridge. I also shared a really yummy recipe that's super easy for any weeknight. Um, which I love sharing those super easy recipes with you guys. So maybe I'll have to include one of those in next week's video because I have a yummy one that I want to try out. I haven't done it before, but it looks delicious and it is in the crock pot. So let me know if you want to see a crock pot meal next week. But if you need even more cleaning motivation, I do have some other videos that I'll leave here on the screen at the end of the video, as well as a ton of playlists on my channel that are broken up in categories. So if you're looking for a specific type of cleaning video or organization project, definitely go check out those playlists on my channel. If there's anything you want to see in some upcoming videos, be sure to let me know all of that down in the comments. And if you're new here, then I'm so glad that you found my channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and will consider subscribing so that way you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And please be sure to introduce yourself down in the comments as well. If you've never introduced yourself or if you're new, we would love to get to know you. All right, I am done cleaning here in the kitchen. I'm going to dump out this dirty water tidy up the living room, and then I'm going to be all done cleaning. So I hope you guys have an awesome week and be sure to come back next week for the next video and I will see you then. Bye. I can never make it on my own. Good morning, friends. I am so excited to share today's video with you. I am actually picking up where I left off from last week's video, and I'm finally tackling the huge mess in our laundry room. I will be cleaning and organizing in there and also doing lots of laundry today. I also have a super yummy crock pot recipe to share with you today, too. This video is full of cleaning motivation, so let's get some things checked off of our to-do list together. Move your body slow You got something on your mind I'ma try to help you let it go Try to help you let it go Alright, so like I said, I'm actually picking up where I left off from last week's video. I shared that our laundry room was a huge mess. We had so much laundry to do and that's what I'm doing this week. And if you missed last week's video, I did do a ton of deep cleaning in the kitchen and I even shared a new way that I cleaned my cabinets in the kitchen and it worked out so well that I'll be doing that from now on. So if you are in need of some deep cleaning motivation for the kitchen, make sure to go check out that video. All right, so now that I've got at least one load of laundry going in the washing machine, I'm gonna try to go ahead and clear this mess out right here. Um, I've got a ton of mop heads that need to be washed, which I'm going to show you how I wash my mop heads in just a little while. And then I have other laundry that needs to be sorted through. I'm just trying to get everything up off the floor so I can actually start cleaning in here. Now I did have a load of towels that needed to be folded and put away. So before I started cleaning in the laundry room, I went ahead and folded these, put them away so that way the laundry baskets could be empty and ready to go for when all the laundry gets done in the dryer. The shirt you gave me Cause it reminds me of the times 
All right, we are back in the laundry room and ready to tackle this mess. So I'm actually trying to get everything out of here so I can do a little bit of deep cleaning in here before I start organizing. And we have a lot of random things just sitting on our countertop here that need to just be put back in their place. This is um, the laundry room for us is like right when you walk in from the garage. So a lot of random items just kind of get thrown in here and I need to go through all of that and put it where it actually belongs. But first I emptied out the trash can. For some reason we didn't have a trash bag in there. I'm not sure what happened there. But I'm going to clean this out really quick and put a fresh trash bag in the trash can. Me that I'll be fine. But some... Now really quickly, I did want to introduce myself in case this is the first time you've ever watched one of my videos. My name is Amy and I live right outside of Savannah, Georgia. I have two kids. And here on my channel, you're going to find tons and tons of cleaning motivation, tips and tricks, um, recipes, organization, all kinds of things that will hopefully get you motivated to get all of the things on your to-do list checked off each day. And if you do enjoy that kind of content, then be sure to subscribe. The subscribe button is right below this video. And there's also a bell that you can click and the word all, and that way you get notified anytime I post new videos. And then be sure to introduce yourself down in the comments too, so that way we can get to know you a little bit better. And for everybody that's returning and coming back for another video, thank you so much for being here. I am so excited to hang out with y'all today, and I can't wait for you to see how the laundry room organization turns out. So this e-cloth here is actually a dusting cloth. So that's what I'm doing first is I'm just going around and just dusting with this dry cloth first before I go around and use any actual pro cleaning products. Now here on the window, I'm using the Sprayway Glass Cleaner and I have been loving this stuff. I've been using it a ton lately and so many of you use it too and have told me how much you love it. So that's what I'm using here. And then I'm also gonna use the Sprayway Multi-Surface Cleaner to clean the countertops. I'm gonna try to help you let it go. You got, you got. You got something on your mind, I'ma try to help you let it go. Now for this sink, I'm using the Dawn Power Wash and it's so funny because my kitchen sink is actually a white ceramic sink and so it's, it is so much more satisfying when I'm cleaning out the stainless steel sink because you can see the product so much more. I don't know, is that weird that like... I get excited about cleaning products and the way things look when I'm cleaning. I don't know. That's kind of why I love the Sprayway glass cleaner too is because it's all foam. And so you can see it really well. You can see how like streak free everything is after you wipe it away. I don't know. I think that that's a sign that I'm getting old is that I love cleaning products. I love um, cleaning tools, all the things. <laughs> So here is the Sprayway multi-surface cleaner and you can see it's got like a foaming spray as well. So um, you can see it when you clean it up. It doesn't show up as well on my granite countertops, but I can definitely see it. Um, it just doesn't show up as well on camera. I'm also using a dry microfiber cloth when I'm wiping this up. And then when I clean the cabinets above, I actually sprayed the cleaner onto my microfiber cloth and just used the cloth to wipe it down. Working on our body language Baby, now tell me exactly how you feel I'm just trying to keep it real Let me love you on the inside Love you on the inside Tell me exactly what you mean You mean everything to me Let me love you on the inside
Now here is where our trash can and our extra um, clothes hamper was. You can see that it gets very dusty back here. Also some lint has fallen on the floor. But like I said, this is right when you walk in from the garage. So a lot of um, like shoes or dirty clothes that have come in from outside that I don't want in our bedrooms get thrown in here so it gets pretty dirty. Leaving me on the spot so confused. Oh baby, tasting so sweet, I can so rude. Won't you tell me what I'm supposed to do? Yeah. High and low, in between, acting out, make a scene. Working on our body language, working. And then here I'm doing the same thing I did for the cabinets. I'm just spraying that product straight onto my microfiber cloth and it is dry. And then I'm going to wipe down this area right here. While I was cleaning, I noticed all these little marks on the wall. So I pulled out my magic eraser and I'm just kind of buffing those out. We really need to repaint our entire house because this is the painter's or the, what is it called? The builder's grade paint. And so we've never repainted any of the rooms except for the playroom. The playroom used to be the same gray that's in here, but we painted it white and it's so much brighter. Um, but there isn't a whole lot of like natural light that comes into our playroom. We only have one window in there. So it made it look way darker when it was gray. But anyways, all over our house, we desperately need to repaint, especially in the high traffic areas. Now that first load of laundry is done, I'm going to throw it into the dryer and I like to use the wool dryer balls. Um, I use dryer sheets every now and then, but most of the time I use the wool dryer balls and I'm going to go ahead and start another load of laundry. And I will actually link all of my favorite laundry products and all the products that I use in the laundry room down in the description box. There will be a link that will take you to literally everything that I use. Everything to me. Let me love you on the inside. Love you on the inside. Now I'm gonna wash our mop heads really quick and all I do for this is take one laundry pod and a little bit of bleach and put it in some hot, hot water and I just put it in right into our mop bucket and then I take all of my dirty mop heads, push them in there and then I actually use the stick from the mop pole to hold them down and submerge them into water. And I usually let this sit overnight and then I will pull them out the next day and let them dry out in the sun. Okay, so that's all the cleaning I got done on day one of the video. I wanted to be super transparent so you know I didn't do it all in one day. And I never typically do it all in one day. But so far, the laundry room's looking a lot cleaner. I'm not done with all the laundry yet. But by the end of this day, I have washed all of the laundry. You'll see me fold a lot of it later in the video. But at least I got all the laundry washed and clean and in baskets. And that was the last load here. And then the next day, all the laundry is completed. So now that I'm all done washing laundry, I need to wash my laundry machine, my washing machine. So I'm just gonna use the Afresh tablet. So I'm just gonna take one tablet, throw it in the washing machine, and I'm gonna wash it on the self-clean cycle. Once felt I'm done with the defense Throw back and climb over your fence Hide to show, show you that I was a mess So you were shrugging
your shoulders some cold stuff that's what i told you soon enough everything started to change cause there's no going back no going back there's no all right, so this was the most fun part for me. So I got these jars from Walmart and I am gonna start organizing some of our laundry products into these jars. I'm actually gonna make labels for them and I'll show you exactly how I do that. But Walmart is where I found the best price for these kind of jars. So I will link them and all of these other products down in my description box, but I found these scoops off of Amazon. And also on Amazon, I found this jar that I'm gonna put our laundry fabric softener in and then it has like this little pump bottle that you can use to pump it out. So first I'm going to label them so I have to make my labels. I'm going to use my Cricut Joy. I love using this for organization projects just because when I'm labeling containers and jars and all kinds of things I like to just do it really quick. They don't have to be super fancy and so today I'm actually going to do the Smart Label Writable Vinyl and my Cricut will actually just draw straight onto the vinyl and then cut around it. So I went through and found this super simple template. I'm just gonna click here, and I'm doing all this from the app in my phone too, which I love. And then I just put in what words I want on my labels, and then just go through the whole process, and it's gonna cut it out, draw it, and cut it out for me. Living in the past, we're over that. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights. Riding on the dizzying heights. Felt like nothing could stop us. Sunsets, remember the colors, they were wrong. It was way more than a dream. We climbed up the yeah, over the hillside. So right, we stood there all wide eyed. You and I floated on air in my mind. So now all I have to do is peel these little labels off and stick them on my jars. All right, I went to Sam's Club and I got a few different laundry products that needed to be restocked. So I'm gonna restock those really quick. This is so satisfying to watch for me. So hopefully you enjoy this part as well. There's no going back, no going back. There's no going back to your own life. No living in the past, we're over that. I'm feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying high. Okay, all my laundry products are restocked and labels are on. We've got laundry pods, OxyClean, scent boosters, and then the fabric softener. And I have been using this little system for almost the last week now, and I absolutely love it. And I'll actually do a full laundry room tour and show you where the rest of our products are and what all we have in our cabinets and everything as soon as I get done with all the cleaning here in the laundry room. Okay, the self-clean cycle is done in the washer, so now I'm just going to wipe it down with a multi-surface spray because sometimes there's still a little bit of residue left over, especially on the inside part of the washer right here. Wide awake is the way that you left me, side by side in 
your car in the backseat Wide awake is the way that you left me, oh Now it's clear we are here back at your house And I keep fading into the background I'm wide awake, now you keep missing out for sure All right, now that the laundry room is all nice and clean, I figured I would give you a little laundry room tour. So here are the jars that I just made all the labels for. And then for the fabric softener, I'm gonna use the cap from the fabric softener uh, original bottle. And then I will just use it and squirt it in here like this. So that's gonna stay there. And then you guys probably see in all of my videos that I just throw this right into the washing machine to be washed with our clothes. So it'll be nice and clean after every use. All right, and then coming up here, this is what all is stored right here. I did these little tubs a while ago in a video, but just made the labels using that same Cricut Joy machine, but I just did regular vinyl instead of like the printable labels. Um, in here we just have extra reusable grocery bags, and here we have all the things for sports. So we have a little sports bag, belts, anything that we use for the sports. Outdoors, we have extra sunscreen, bug spray, stuff like that in there. And then we have masks and gaiters in here. We don't typically use these, but just in case, we have them saved. And then right here, we've got some lint rollers. Um, this is random, but it's like the outdoor uh, shield, water shield spray that goes on furniture to keep the, to try to keep it from mildewing and stuff like that. Uh, we've got some aloe here, some extra hand sanitizer, Clorox wipes, and then we have bigger bags up here, some of the reusable ones, a scalp bag, um, a little freezer bag, and then um, a lunch tote. So that's that cabinet. Moving over here, this is a bunch of random stuff, but this is what it looks like. So right here we've got lots of extra hand soaps and dish soaps random but we've got some <laughs> spray paint that probably should go outside in the garage sponges extra just cleaning stuff um, a rice heating pad just some random things a little duster extra pieces that goes to my helmet tool to clean in the bathrooms and the um, tubs and stuff water balloons that we haven't used yet some extra mop heads we've got a lot more of these that just they're still um, drying outside because it rained all night. Um, and then we've got lunch boxes here. Um, I'm really not sure what's in this bag. Skip. Let's see. Oh, nothing important. Um, just extra bags. I'll probably find something to put in there eventually. <laughs> and then I have an extra drying mat for the kitchen. So that's that cabinet. All right, now moving down to these bottom cabinets, we've just got even more cleaning supplies. No surprise there. And then over in this cabinet, we have all of our beach towels. So here you can see, we have a ton of beach towels, but we use them a ton during the summer. I'm actually wanting to get like a big storage tub to go out in our garage so I can take all of these out here and use these cabinets for something else eventually. So hopefully I can get one of those soon. I did see one at Sam's for a really good deal. So I just need to figure out where we're going to put it in the garage. That's that cabinet. All right, and then moving back up here. So we have this cabinet. All right, so that's what this one looks like. It's not like super organized, but it works. Um, this is where we keep our dryer balls, but they're all in the dryer right now. We have extra dryer sheets, but honestly, I don't use these as much as the dryer balls. We have these bleach alternative pods, and then we have the extra pods from Sam's that I could not fit into our little jar. Then moving up here, we've got Tide Powder. These are our little Swiffer wet wipes. Then we've got some extra Dawn Power Wash, our money jar because we're always finding change here in our laundry room. We've got a bunch of extra light bulbs up there. I think those are all light bulbs. And then those little pieces that go on the bottom of our chairs so they don't scratch the floor. There's extras of those up there too. All right, so that's that cabinet. 
And the last cabinet, we have more laundry stuff. So we've got extra of these since they wouldn't fit in the container. Uh, we've got the laundry sanitizer bleach. I use this for our cleaning towels. We've got regular Clorox bleach here that I use when I'm washing whites. And then we've got a couple of stain remover sprays. Some the fresh, the cleaner, and then the starch spray, which we hardly ever use, and an iron that we hardly ever use either. I usually steam um, all of our clothes if they're wrinkled or just throw them back here in the dryer until most of the wrinkles get out. And then all of this stuff up here is like extra manuals and things that I need to go through and probably need to organize a little bit better, but that's where they are for right now. So that is that cabinet. And then right here we have our ironing board that hardly ever comes out. And then we have some rain jackets and stuff back here on this door. All right, so that is our little laundry room tour. Feels so good to have this room cleaned and organized, finally. <laughs> okay, another day of cleaning done, and now we're on to the next day. So look at all this laundry I have to fold. So it's all clean, but I just have to fold it and put away. So really quickly, I'm gonna make my bed because I feel like I can't get anything done on my to-do list if my bed's not made first thing in the morning. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna fold this laundry and get it put away. Okay, sidetrack for a second. I remembered that the dustbin in my robot vacuum needed to be changed out. And so I'm going to change this out really quick. This is my favorite part about this robot vacuum. It's actually an Ecovax vacuum that I shared several months ago, but it self empties into the dustbin. So I don't have to empty the dustbin every single day like I used to have to do with all the other robot vacuums that I've had in the past. So this makes it super easy, but it was full and needed to be changed out. So I'm just replacing it with a, no, a new dustbin bag. Now, because this was gonna take me a really long time to film all of this laundry being folded, I did not film the whole thing, but you will see I had a ton of laundry and it all gets folded and put away. All right, I've got all of the clothes folded. We've got all of, I kind of organized them by who's is who's. So Chance's clothes here, all of my clothes are here, then Gracie June's are in the middle, and then Kaysen's, and then we've got mine and Chance's hangups, and then the kids' hangups. Really quick, there were a few things I wanted to show y'all. So <laughs> look at all of my workout clothes. I swear I just live in workout clothes, but I wanted to show y'all my favorite pairs of shorts. All of these come from Amazon, by the way. So these are like just regular biker shorts, um, but they have the little pocket on the side. So whenever I'm walking, I love to wear these when I'm out walking just because I can put my phone in that little pocket and I don't have to wear like an arm holder for my iPhone. So I have these in so many different colors. You can see I have one, two, three, four, five here just in this pile, not even including the ones I have in my drawers. But then let me show you the other pair of shorts that I love. I went ahead and pulled them out and put them here on the ground, but these are probably my new favorite pair of shorts just to wear every day. I can work out in these. Um, they do have a little zipper pocket, so if you like run or walk and you have to take your keys with you or something, you can put that in there, chapstick, whatever. I actually have the you've got you probably see me wear them in a ton of videos but the pink pair of these as well they're dirty because i wore them yesterday um so i've got these two this is like a 
navy blue and then this is like a dusty blue color and then i also really love these um these are a little bit stretchier and you can see the waistbands are a little different um but i have these in black as well as a purple pair that i love and i've worn them in some videos lately i did size up in these just because i wanted them to be longer um and so I got a large in all of these just for the length. Now, um, fit wise, I could probably could have gone with a medium, but I do like the way that they're a little bit looser on my legs, if that makes sense. All of the shorts that I've just shown you are from Amazon. I'm gonna link them all in my description. Okay, and the other thing that I wanted to show y'all were these swim shorts that I found on Amazon for Kaysen. So I got two pair, let me lay these out real quick. Okay, here they are laid out, and I love these prints. They also had lots of other prints, lots of different colors, but if you guys remember, a few years ago, I shared with you the Fair Harbor shorts that I loved so much, and I loved them because they have like a built-in spandex liner instead of like the mesh liners, and the only thing is, is those are so expensive. They were like $50. So I found these on Amazon and I was like, I tried one pair first and then I went and bought the second pair, but these were only $24 each and they have the spandex liner. They, Kaysen loves these. And so the reason that I love the spandex liner so much is because when we go to the beach, they don't get chafed really bad. Um, with the mesh liners, we always have, to, always have to cut those out. So Anyways, these are awesome shorts. They're half the price of the Fair Harbor shorts that we love so much. So I will link these as well. All right, so now it's time to go put all of these away. Now all of that's clean, put away, and I'm gonna show you a really easy crock pot meal. So the first thing, and it's actually a lasagna crock pot meal, so hopefully you like it. So first thing I'm doing is browning my ground beef. You could also use turkey. And then I used two jars of Prego pasta sauce. I It was a little saucy, so next time I will either use one jar or one and a half jars. Um, but if you like yours really saucy, definitely do the two. And I only had a pound of ground beef, by the way. I'm putting in a liner for easy cleanup. And then I'm going to put just a little bit of that sauce mixture, my beef sauce, down at the bottom of the the crock pot loving me was all you tried when you were around i've been told too many times now yeah loving me was all you tried when you were around i've been told too many times now next i'm putting half a bag of cheese tortellini in here you can also use ravioli if you want but i'm putting half of the bag of that and then i'm going to do half of a tub of ricotta cheese Next, I put a couple handfuls of the Italian six blend cheese, no measuring here, just kind of guesstimated. And then I'm gonna put half of the sauce mi mixture that is left. Now I'm just throwing in the rest of that tortellini, um, all the rest of the ricotta cheese, a little bit of extra shredded cheese, the rest of the sauce mixture, and then a little bit more cheese on top. I have told you many times now. Yeah, can't you see that I just need to be by myself? I have told you many times now. But somewhere. And I am just going to cook this on high for four hours and everybody in the family loved it. And we actually had a ton left over so we could eat it for the next night if we wanted to have leftovers. But I already had dinner plans for the next night so we ended up freezing it. And it'll be an easy meal that we can just pull out of the freezer and heat up again. And then usually when we cook Italian meals we will eat it with the Kohl's cheesy breadsticks but since this meal had so much cheese in it I just did regular garlic bread and it was so good. All right so that's going to be it for today's video. If you try this recipe please let me know and let me know if you change anything up or if you add anything. I always love hearing your spins on these recipes. 
and I hope you enjoyed seeing the laundry cleaning and organizing. Hopefully it gave you some motivation to get some things done off of your checklist today. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and then be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And be sure to come back next week. I will have a brand new video with tons of cleaning motivation. I've got a grocery haul coming in that video and restocking the fridge some really fun stuff coming. So y'all have an amazing week and I will see you back here next week. Bye.